Hi guys! Today we're going to make three robo crafts. Let's start with a robo man. It's high time. Cryogenic chamber is still on. Let's first divide a popsicle stick into four equal parts. What's next? Tell me! Ooh, you're a twinkle toe, Sammy. <laughs> All right. Come on, repeat after me. This is the body of our robo man. We are going to make its limbs. We'll make a mold of our motor on one of the marks. Sammy, help me! I'm pressing! Woo! Did it work? Perfect! Now we need to drill a hole here. Guys, this stage is quite dangerous. Ask an adult to help you. You must be very careful. While here, we'll make a simple round hole. Watch your fingers! Ta-da! Not bad. Sammy did a great job with the second part. Two? What's it gonna be? What do you think, Sammy? Guys, try to guess two. Well, there's two. And they're on the opposite sides of the body. They're either hands or legs. Bingo! These are robo legs. Quick and strong. Check out what we did with the remaining pieces. Now let's insert a four centimeter piece of a toothpick in this hole. And secure it this way. Oh, someone's not in a good mood. Tell me, what's the matter? It turns out it's so easy to make a robot. Now he's gonna hibernate for a hundred years to get to the future. Don't worry, Sammy. It's good that you understand that. Otherwise, you'd miss many interesting things. Guys, would you like to go to the future? Give a thumbs up if you want it just like me. I've already secured the sticks with glue. We can proceed. The legs of our robot are going to be long. Seven centimeters from the upper hole to the lower edge. The remaining part will just cut. The robot will need comfortable shoes. Sammy, could you borrow yours? Hey, these ones. No, not these. Oh, I like those so much too. Uh, uh, such a difficult choice. Will these do? Very cute, Sammy. You're so tiny. To make it more comfortable for our robot to walk, we are going to make the sole more stable. Back and front. Hurry up to the robo school! Let's start assembling all the parts. We'll fix the legs with these wooden pieces so our robot doesn't lose its legs. Let's add some glue here and here. There we go, cool! Why is he so lifeless? It's because robots need hearts too, Sammy. Even mechanical ones. You understand what I mean? Right! <laughs> I totally forgot about the battery. We need to attach the wire to the motor. Guys, it's better to ask an adult to help you. So look, I made eyes and a hairstyle for the robot. Just what we need, Sammy. Let's try. Hey, you're such a cutie. Well, buddy, ready for a test drive? Guys, we made the work pieces for the next robot. Check out the parts and their dimensions. Ah, I even had to eat another ice cream for it, but I'm not upset at all. <laughs> what kind of robot are we going to make? It'll have three pairs of legs. Any ideas? Great stick, Sammy. Where'd you get them? I dismantled my old umbrella. Good idea, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, fortunately, it wasn't my new umbrella. The middle pair of legs will be the leading. It'll also have another shape. Stronger, a little more. Done. We don't need this part. Click. All right, let's attach our legs. Okay, we're on to something. Look, I put the pieces into the motor and fixed them with the glue. Now let's just glue it in the middle. Come on, take this! 
What kind of robot are you anyway? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I guess Sam's got a problem. Sammy, come back! Who's gonna help me with this robot? Guys, check out the caterpillar we've got. Nice. Ugh, the robot doesn't want to help at all. What should I do, Sue? I think it just needs company, Sammy. And soon it'll have a new robo friend. Guys, did you remember that our robot's legs have different lengths? The longest ones are in the middle, and the shortest in the front and back. Let's connect the middle leg with the back one with one rib. And the front one with another rib. This way. We should get a… a caterpillar like this. I think it needs funny eyes. Consider it done, Susan. While Sam is off creating, let's finish the mechanism. We're going to solder the wires to the motor just like we did with the first robot. Look, Susie! I'm a senti eye slime! <laughs> Spectacular! And quite mesmerizing. Guys, soon we'll show you the final result! Introduce you to another robo! Wait! Making the third robot will be easy peasy after such a challenge. I guess it would be the coolest. Guys, first we're gonna make its legs. Let's connect the pieces with the glue. The feet will be made of popsicle sticks and glue. And now let's repeat the well known action put in a piece of straw. After this craft, we'll need to restock the popsicle sticks. Guys, did you see that video where we made an ice cream machine? Yeah, we're still using it sometimes. If you didn't see it, follow the link on the screen. So, is it true that it's gonna be a dog? Yes, Sammy. Which dog breed would you like? I'd like it to be a dachshund. Let's make a sausage dog. Alright, our robot will have a long body. By the way, Allergic people could own these dogs in the future. The future is here! I can't wait to meet you, buddy! <laughs> Did you give it a name, Sammy? Give a thumbs up if you like the name, buddy! Alright, we've connected the wires. And here's the switch. And the battery? Here it is! Quick! I catch it! I want to go have a walk with my robo-dog! Wait, Sammy, we're at the finish line! But it doesn't look like a dog. What can we do? Hmm. I know. I'm gonna find and bring everything. Wait for me, buddy. <laughs> yep, we're waiting for you. Here are the pieces. Oh, Sammy, so cool. It looks like a real dog. Of course. Our robot must be the best. I won't argue. <laughs> and this is to walk in. Dogs like to have walks. All right. Sammy, it's time to walk, buddy. Oh, finally! Come on, buddy! Let's throw a robo race. What do you say? Come on, boy, you can do it! Who's the quickest in your opinion? And the winner is the caterpillar! Who'd have thought? Buddy is second! Woohoo! That's my boy! Oh! What to do? Oh, oh calm down, please, and explain from the start. I was sitting, staring through the telescope. You mean the spyglass, right? Does it matter? Don't interrupt me, <sighs> Susie! So I'm looking at the sky, then a star starts falling down and BAM! Lands right in our yard! Oh my! I hope nobody got hurt. No, no. So, I went to look and found this thing! Come, I'll show you. Hmm. There! Uh, what's this? What does it look like to you? Well, uh, robot parts, I think. Yes! Yes, that's right! 
And there's this piece of paper with symbols. This must be some top secret extraterrestrial information. I'm off to decipher it. Ugh. And you start assembling the robot. Assembling a robot again! Yay! Guys, do you like assembling robots? Write in the comments, please! Right, let's see. Brushes. Hmm, weird. I probably should start with these parts. <laughs> I've assembled so many robots, I feel like I don't even need any instructions. <gasps> Look, a battery compartment. Hmm, we need to screw it on. Carefully now. <gasps> Sue, Sue, I've deciphered a part of the message. It's an incredible brush robot! Ah, that's why there are brushes here. Is the assembling coming in all right? I think so. I'll connect the wires now. It's important not to confuse the colors. Ah. Looks like the base is done. Now I need to attach these smaller parts. Hmm, antenna? A robot insect? <gasps> that's why the eyes are so big! Brush robot insect? No, no. It's a type of vibrating robot like the message says. By the way, some vibrating robots run on solar batteries. That means they can work while the sun is shining. Do you think that's the kind we have? Not likely. Look, it seems to be a compartment for ordinary hmm. batteries. Well, fine. This antenna bends so easily. And this part fits in the loop. Now I'll secure it with the screwdriver. <laughs> they definitely look like eyes now. Let me stick them on! Uh, ah, there. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, attaching the brush seems trickier than I thought. And the brush is the most important part of the brush robot. You don't say. Sticky tape should help secure it. Hmm. <gasps> there! Ooh, these bristles are so firm. You were probably made for hard work, little guy. Yep, this type of robot is used for cleaning clogged pipes. Oh. oh, and maybe this one too. Well, they sent it to clean out a spaceship pipe and it fell right out of it. <laughs> Could be. Right, the big brush is in place. Only the small one left. I'll go fetch the batteries. Great, looks like our wonder robot fallen from the sky is done. Let's turn it on. <laughs> Let's see how it handles sand. That's always hard to sweep. <gasps> oh. I wish I could talk. We would become friends with it, I'm sure. <laughs>